Hi, I'm Brad with Nomad Cycles and uh, our shop here in Portland, Oregon, we take bikes and turn them into better electric bikes than you could buy anywhere. And this is an amazing example. By putting the CYC X1 Pro and this uh, A65 battery, it is a much, much, much stronger e-bike, e-mountain bike than you could buy off the shelf anywhere else. So you're pushing like 4,000 watts with this battery in there. And it's available on demand with the throttle plus this torque sensing for uh, pedal assist that's really smooth. And you put those together and any mountain bike becomes a dirt flying machine. With this motor, you can put it on your own bike at home or we can do it at our shop for you uh, if you're in Portland. But um, if you look at this battery, it comes on and off to the side, so you don't have to, uh, so it can fit into a tight triangle like this one. Uh, it's 20 amp hours, it's 65 volts, and um, it can definitely dump on the power. Uh, something I really love about this motor, it's just looks and cosmetics, but you can see the copper windings of the motor in there, which I think is just really dope. Um, you know, what a motor is, is magnets and some copper wire and you add power to the wire and it pushes the magnet. So, uh, a motor's just built on magnetism, really. Pair this mo this good motor with a good bike like this one. And, uh, that's really the key to making something that you're going to want to get on and go use more. And when you have a better bike, you end up riding more miles. Two reasons to add a motor that's at the pedals compared to adding a motor that's in the wheel is that when your motor's at the pedals, because the motor's going through the chain, whatever gear you put the bike in, the motor's going through that gear too. So you have a transmission with the motor's power. So when you put it up into the low gear, the motor has a lot of high torque to pull you up a really steep hill. But when you're winding out going on the flats and wanting to go fast, you move it to a faster gear and that motor RPM range is going right through that gear too. It's very symbiotic. If you're interested in an electric mountain bike, I want you to know that this is an option. If you take a regular mountain bike and put this motor on it, you will have a stronger e-bike, e-mountain bike than anybody else could buy.